Hi, everybody. I'd like to share a little devotion with you this week. It's actually from 2 Kings chapter 4. And there was this lady that had lost everything, and she came to a preacher. And she said, my husband has died. And you know, in this man's world, in that culture, uh, I have nothing. I have two little boys, and we have nothing. I had to sell everything in the house. We're going to lose the home. And the preacher said to her, well, what do you have left? She said, I just told you I lost everything. Well, you must have something left, he said. I have one little jar of olive oil, she said. He said, fine. I want you to go to all your neighbors and friends and ask them if they have any, if they have any extra jars that are empty and then bring them back to me and bring your little jar of olive oil. She says, well, what good is that going to do? He said, just do what I ask. Now, her preacher actually was Elijah. And she did what he said, wondering what in the world he was going to do. And he had her take her little jar of olive oil and begin to pour. And she filled one large container and two and three and four and on and on until every jar that her neighbors had given her was full of olive oil, which back then was income. Now, the moral of the story is this. You may think that your life is empty and you may be concentrating on what you've lost and what's left. And maybe you feel like there's nothing left. Maybe you're out of hope. Maybe you're out of faith. Maybe your relational world is bankrupt. Maybe you don't know where you're going to lay down tonight. Maybe you wonder if you're going to be homeless or maybe your stomach's empty. I want to remind you of something. Your God loves to fill empty places. In fact, until I'm empty of myself, God can't fill me with Jesus. I can't have faith until I empty myself of fears. I can't have joy until I let God take away the worries. And God has given you a jar, a jar with his son Jesus in it. And whatever is empty in your life, just like the woman at the well, he filled up her water jug, but he did much more. He filled up her heart. Like the people on the hillside, they've been there filling up on Jesus' sermons, but their stomachs were empty. And a couple of fish and a few loaves of bread fed thousands of people. What's empty in your life, God can fill. And remember this, God loves to fill the empty places. So look carefully at your life. What is missing? What makes you feel bad? What makes you feel desperate and empty? God wants to fill it. Just bring your emptiness to God this week and see what kind of miracles he does in your life. May God bless you. And I hope and pray that God will fill all the emptiness inside of you. Amen.